Trigonometric functions of negative angles. Trigonometric functions are defined on the basis of coordinates of a point on the terminal side of the angle drawn in standard position. Now, let's draw an angle minus theta in standard position. To draw the angle minus theta, when already theta angle is drawn in standard position, to draw minus theta angle, the same measure has to be taken in the clockwise direction. There will be the terminal side. This is it. This is angle minus theta. Now we are going to find the trigonometric functional values for this angle in comparison with the positive angle theta. For that, we need to take any point on the terminal side. That is how the trigonometric functions are done. Taking any points coordinate on the terminal side. So, conveniently, I am going to take a point on the terminal side by drawing a perpendicular from P to meet the new terminal side at Q. Now, simple geometry can prove that triangle OMP and OMQ are congruent. Angle theta measure, angle theta measure. Geometrically, they are equal angles. OM is common side. Now, this is drawn perpendicular. 90 degree and 90 degree. So, by ASA congruency, these two triangles are congruent. So, this PM length will be same as MQ length. But notice that MQ is drawn to the fourth quadrant. So, the coordinates of this Q will be X, minus Y. The same Y value but its opposite side. We have got a point X, minus Y. Now, how far is it from the origin? How far is the Q from the origin to have the distance R? Yes, we have already proved these two tri triangles are congruent. So, OP will be equal to OQ. So, this side is also R. Using these three numbers, let's try to see the trigonometric functional value of minus theta. Angle minus theta. Sin minus theta, cos minus theta, tan minus theta, etc. we are finding. So, according to the definition, y coordinate upon R. Y coordinate is minus y upon r. Minus y upon r will be the sine of minus theta. Cos minus theta is x by r. Tan minus theta is minus y by x. My x by minus y, r by x and r by y. Simple respective definitions out here using the new coordinates. Now we are going to make a comparison between these two. Look x by r and x by r are same. So, cos theta and cos minus theta are same. Cos theta and cos minus theta will be equal. The second one I discussed first. But look at the first ones. Sin theta and sin minus theta. They are numerically equal y by r but opposite in sign. This is y by r, this is minus y by r. So, we can say sin minus theta is minus of sin theta. Sin minus theta is minus of this value sin theta. Similarly, cos theta is equal to cos theta already discussed. Tan minus theta is minus of tan theta. Cot minus theta is minus of cot theta. Sec minus theta, observe here r by x and r by x, they are same. So, sec theta and sec minus theta will be equal. Cosec minus theta is equal to minus cosec theta. So, here we have got six new identities. These are identities because these are true for any value of theta. Irrespective of the value of theta, we have got six new relations. They are sin minus theta is minus sin theta, cos minus theta is cos theta, tan minus theta is minus tan theta, cot minus theta is minus cot theta, Sec minus theta is sec theta, cosec minus theta is minus cosec theta. It's easy to remember. Remember only the first two three. 
only cos minus theta equal to cos theta. It's reciprocal sec minus theta equal to sec theta. Rest all are influenced by the negative sign of the angle. 